President Trump's former White House counsel, Pat Cipollone, has agreed to testify before the House January 6th committee tomorrow. Cipollone will speak to the panel behind closed doors. You might remember his name came up very often in last month's testimony from former White House aide Cassidy Hutchinson. The committee is hoping to learn more about what happened at the White House in the hours leading up to the insurrection at the Capitol. ABC's Alex Brashe joins me live now from Washington with more on this. Alex, some lawmakers on the committee uh, say they think Cipollone is the missing link in their investigation. What do you think they mean by that? Well, Diane, I mean, I think that uh, from the Cassidy Hutchinson testimony, she connected a lot of the dots. And from that testimony, we learned that Cipollone uh, was not only uh, one of the few people often in the room with the former president and his chief of staff, Mark Meadows, the days leading up to January 6th and on that day, but often he was the person, uh, you know, waving the red flag that, hey, something needs to be done early and often. He was referenced during her testimony as uh, warning either her or other members of the administration that actions need to be taken. Uh, and, and so, you know, this is a chance, it's gonna be a videotaped, transcribed testimony, but this is a chance uh, for, for this, this committee to really kind of present those facts and hear from uh, Cipollone himself. Now, how is Cipollone's testimony expected to compare to Hutchinson's testimony? Well, I think there are three key points uh, that this committee is going to try to, to drill down on uh, to help fortify, help uh, to reinforce her testimony. Number one uh, is that testimony that we heard from Hutchinson where she said that Cipollone said something to the effect of, please make sure on the day of January 6th, please make sure we don't go up to the Capitol, Cassidy, Cassidy keep in touch with me. We're going to get charged with every crime imaginable if we make that movement happen. He was waving the red flag right then and there. There's another point where during the rioting, Hutchinson testified that Cipollone was pushing the former president to make some kind of statement to help in the violence, saying something needs to be done. He's saying this to Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. Something needs to be done. People are going to die and the blood is going to be on your hands. And then the third point that I think they're really going to try to drill down on here to help reinforce Hutchinson's testimony is Cipollone's attendance at many of these meetings before January 6th, where he urged the former president and others not to overhaul the Justice Department in an effort to help overturn the election. Alex, could his testimony pave the way for more people to testify who've been hesitant until now? I think it's possible, but I also I also think that you know for for this committee, I mean this this is almost as if like, this is their star witness. Hutchinson was 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 important in connecting the dots, but Cipollone was in the room. These are his words that she, the Cassidy Hutchinson, was testifying to, and so if he's able to really kind of do that, I mean that is that is what they're really looking for. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.